tell you what I'm going to do. Today and today only, these fine daggers and with the it. right knot. Yeah, small one. Um, yeah, they come in pairs. Yes, yes. Or, yes. or threes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. What Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I'm Alex and here we are in my Connecticut studio with uh, Bill Reno. Hello Bill. Hey. Um, we are here because of I have three parcels full of stuff. All these items I found in Europe during um, last several weeks. I was here about months and um, found a lot of items and uh, then guys collected and sent it to me to the United States. So here I can open it and uh, I will show it to you and I will show it to you and um, it will be cool. Yeah. Let's go. This one is a big one probably, we will stay it here, keep it for uh, last, box. last box and we will open, make this yeah, one. let's do this one. This one, okay. Yeah, that's it from first uh, box. So here we can see, yeah, you started from this one. Yeah, it looks like a, oh, a dip, diplomatic dagger. Oh, no, no. Yeah, diplomatic dagger, nice. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. I'm really proud I found it. And uh, that's quite rare. Oh man. All the lacquer is intact. Yeah. Wow. That's why I bought it. It's quite expensive. Yeah, it's probably the best one I've ever seen. Yeah. And open With the it. right knot. Yeah, small one. Yeah. And open it. It's oh, alcohol. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. This knot is rare, mm -hmm. <laughs> really rare. Probably Hard. one, but probably one tassel mm, yeah. costs mm, around one thousand. Yeah, I think yeah. so. To up to twelve hundred. Mint, mint. Yeah. And um, what I like the best, uh, it's a lacquer, and uh, it's never been cleaned. Yeah. And this one is really cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. And um, second one is also. High-end item, you you know what yeah, is it? Yeah, DLV. Yes, DLV, mm -hmm. fifty-five centimeter, yeah, and wow. uh, we can see here, uh, cross guard only. Carl Icahn had uh, this style. Type. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and I really like it. So, and uh, here we can see Carl um, Icahn early logo mm -hmm. on uh, this right side. Here. Yeah, and then the Swazi covered up. For, yeah, they, for the it, European yes. market. Yes, for European market, you have to cover swastikas, um, and uh, this also in amazing condition. Super rare. Yeah, super rare. And you can see it's classic. Yes, yeah. S S chain. And um, I found one DLV fifty five centimeters, a um, little bit more than one month ago. I mm -hmm. bought it from uh, Thomas Whitman, mm -hmm. and uh, now I found second one. So wow. sometimes uh, it happens when uh, yeah they come in pairs. Yes, yes, or, yes. or threes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Threes. And um, last time it was like that a few years ago, maybe five years ago or six, and. Uh, also, I found few of them, and then um, long period I didn't find any daggers like that. So look at that! Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. it's an NPA dagger. Yeah, mint. Yeah, NPA dagger in really good condition. And I, the hanger. Yeah, like, the hanger is brand new. Uh, they didn't have um, hangers especially for uh, no. um, NPA, but they used these hangers and uh, it's correct. Hanger yeah, and that's for, obviously, for it's been one. with it forever. Yeah. You can yeah. see. And look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. Blade in the mint condition. Um, I mean, mint, mint. And we can yeah. see somebody uh, stamped yep. uh, the numbers and uh, it was after it mm -hmm. uh, has been um, yep. Constructed, yep. and uh, this is a period damages because of the yep. uh, the stamped this O stamp mm -hmm. and thirty seven stamp. So it's uh, uh, really cool stuff, and um, I think 
this period uh, damage is not like a minus. It's, yeah. It is what it is, but yeah. it's not a plus, but it's not a defect. So it's and a, a lot stuff. of times by Carl Bergermuller. Yeah. And uh, look at that felt is also mm -hmm. original. And so I also proud that I found it. Um, not a lot of them in that no. condition. And it's the original paint. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. And it's just original paint. Pay yeah. With lacquer on. also. Yeah. So. Yeah. Pretty amazing condition. Yeah. So let's do second one. Yeah. Um, where is my knife? Three packages we can see here. And uh, first item. Oh, miniature. Uh, yeah. Hunting miniature. dagger. Yeah, exactly. This one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Icorn probably, huh? Uh, oh, no, Alcoso. it's Alcoso. And um, this is a special series of uh, deluxe Alcoso mm -hmm. uh, hunting dagger. So you can see. Condition is amazing too. Yeah, it's also near me. It, it was pretty expensive, but uh, in that condition, I think it's really good investment to, to yeah. buy because everybody looks something great mm -hmm. and uh, mint mint. So that's why. And this one, Have you ever seen? Is it Swiss? Like is it Swiss? Swiss. Swedish. Swedish. Exactly. Swedish. Okay. Oh, I've never seen blue panel gilding. Wow! Wow! It's uh, nickel plated. Yeah, amazing. and it's a special series, and um, they did it on the factory. It factory made. It was really low amount, probably maybe 100 of them. Mm -hmm. um, there are some uh, variants like uh, plain nickel. Mm -hmm. It costs probably two, three hundred, uh, but mm -hmm. you can see it on the shows. But with etched blade, with etched scabbard, with bluing and gilding, it's not a lot of them. Uh, it's really rare. It's very rare. And uh, pay attention, this one is uh, early one. We can see with uh, mm -hmm. this button, it yep. is a early button, so it's really bayonet early uh, bayonet. I proud myself, I also uh, buy it, but um, <laughs> you know, I um, saw it a few years ago, probably in 2016, um, when guy bought it and uh, keep it for mm -hmm. his collection, and it cost around 3,000 bucks. Really? Wow. Uh, around 3,000, yeah, around 3,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it cost almost twice more. Wow. Yeah, and um, that collection has been sold, and I bought part of collection and uh, with this knife, but it's also, it's not one of a kind, but very, very rare. And uh, it's like really piece of art. And uh, most important that it's not just, um, private order and uh, somebody uh, nameless mm -hmm. uh, did it it's factory made yeah so that's why um, even the screw is blue yeah yeah and uh, pay attention there is no uh, numbers there is no numbers yeah. um, so it's it has been made uh, like that and it's all a model yeah that's really cool uh two more packages this from one, what this one this one okay Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic with the skinny frog or the small frog. Yeah. Wow. This is also a special deluxe model by Alcoso, and um, they have only one of a kind design mm -hmm. uh, for this deluxe um, hunting dagger. And uh, for me, it's probably most valuable, like government issued. Um, hand, and engra hand engraved, chased. Yeah, yeah. And it was not uh, like a private order, and uh, we don't know has it been produced in period or not. Um, we sure it was in period because this full series of them, and um, you can see it in different conditions. So this one is really, yeah, fantastic. really. It's it's not mean, but it's in great condition. Almost something that like Herman Goering would have given to one of his guests. Um, actually, um, members of uh, hunting association mm -hmm. could buy it for um, their money because it's a um, classic textbook item from a catalog 
from Perut catalog. And uh, look at that. We can see here two um, two daggers, yeah. big one and miniature. And it's uh, exactly the same model. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So that's really cool. I found it. And uh, actually, only hanger cost around four hundred. Yeah, yeah bucks. they're expensive. Yeah. But look at the look at the lacquer still. Yeah, the lacquer still, still over the silver. Yeah, it's and then you cool. can see where the lacquer's, you know, kind of oxidized underneath and yeah, like tarnishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, but the front is like completely intact. But this was worn against the body, so yeah. there'd be sweat. Yeah, exactly. Naturally, it would oxidize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that hanger is is a rare. Yeah, rare piece. So itself. Do you like it? Yeah, beautiful. You want beautiful. more? Yeah, one more. Let's see. <laughs> so last one. $20 with the bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Nice wrap. Yeah. Actually, nice bubble wrap here in this country very expensive. Yeah, it yeah. is. Very, very. <laughs> it was 20 bucks. Uh, I just ordered uh, some. Yeah. I just ordered some. <laughs> and look at that. It's a um, full stack. Full stack yeah. RAD dagger with... Um, initials. With the initials of the guy and right here yeah. and here. Yeah. Initials here and full stock um, with a piece of horn mm -hmm. uh, covered this uh, tip of yeah the yep how to say it correctly tip of the tang it's yeah. a tang yeah yeah and uh, it's also nickel silver in really good condition wow look at that yeah I the, the, it's also early icorn and uh, um, when it has been exist um, it was not only enlisted man dagger it was uh, enlisted man and officer dagger yeah. because officer dagger uh, mm, didn't come along until a couple yes, of years in, in later 30, in 30, 38 mm -hmm. uh, this one in uh, 34 so few years uh, they use it for enlisted men and for officers uh, both so yeah interesting too it's you know yes. the fu I, i'm not sure what that is but yes. the, the guy's uh, initials are really no, really well done here. F U yeah what is seven sixty it's it's numbers it's um, uh, the troop it's that yes, specific it's, it's, troop it's, it's a troop uh, code and number of weapon mm -hmm. so we can see here and on early uh, R A D daggers we can see it and uh, this one is nickel silver so early yeah, one solid and, very uh, heavy produced, very heavy yeah produced before uh, nineteen thirty six because uh, we can see here the small, uh, double oval mm -hmm. uh, yeah square. the small double oval yeah and hanger also yeah. It's really nice. So, do you like it? Yeah, these are. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty hard to find, and I have never um, ever seen before um, a ready dagger full stock in that in condition better yeah. than uh, that one. In mint condition, it's impossible to find because yeah. um, guys who wear it. Before the war. They were workers. Yeah, they, they, they just uh, use it for... Uh, <laughs> use the back of the blades. Needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a tool. Up. As a tool. Yeah, so here we can see one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And I'll... My favorite. My favorite. favorite, yeah. Definitely. The second one? Probably this one. And third one? This one. Cool. And um, I think... I'd like every, every yeah, item. yeah, same, same. <laughs> wow, these these are nice. These are all nice, really, really. These are so rare. You just don't see them in the U.S. anymore. You used to see them once in a while at shows, like yeah. the show shows. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't find it uh, on show shows. And um, one guy asked me to find for him something mm -hmm. with a reasonable price, mm -hmm. but. They doesn't exist now. Yeah, I mean, what what are these? These have got to be double what they were a few. They've got to be about four grand now, aren't they? Oh, no, it's much more, much are more. Are they expensive. really? Yes. Wow. For uh, four grand, I'm ready to run oh. in that location to, to buy as much as uh, they show me, you know. Man, that's the, yeah. it's super rare, super yeah, rare. Yeah, yeah. Um, several years ago, it was like uh, more than 10,000 per, wow. per, per one. Uh, it was in uh, 2006. I, I've seen these. I've seen these. Well, years ago, I've seen them like four, mm -hmm. four grand. Four but uh, they, yeah. But it was probably maybe before ten, ten years ago, maybe b b before I came here in the United States. Yeah. First thing I um, came here, it was 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's open last last box 
it should be something interesting because uh, do you like swords? I like swords. Yeah. Long. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Ooh, look at that. Frosty. Yeah, you don't want to handle this one without probably gloves. The silvering is fantastic. Look at that. Yeah, that silver is beautiful. Yeah, probably it's, um, it's Really mint mint condition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can see here a little bit darker mm -hmm. than um, other part, but it's not yeah. Even the tank, and... there's no wear on the tank. Yeah, probably it's an issue to one. Yeah, I think so. And I really like it. So, and uh, this one is a textbook, and um, you could see it in my previous mm -hmm. video from uh, Germany. So with a lot of awards, so it was my uh, choice. JFS, right? Yes, it's a JFS. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And second one, you can see, it's a LDO box, mm -hmm. original LDO box. Ooh, that's nice. That's yeah. the nicest one I've seen. Yeah. And uh, it has a stamp L11. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. L11 yep. on the um, ring. Yeah, I can see it. Yep. Yeah. And here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And also, second class, original L11. This box. one I want. Me too. But yeah. we can talk about it yeah. after the video. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. The best yeah. I've seen. I tell you what I'm going to do. Today and today only, these fine daggers are double. No, not double, triple. <laughs> no, not triple, quadruple. The price of a normal dagger because... Not that they're rare, but the condition is <laughs> super, super rare. Okay, not triple. It could be with um, normal price. Yeah, maybe double. But only for good and great people. Yeah, yeah, good customers. Yes, Bill, customers. Bill, uh, don't say Alex what I say you. Uh, he have a time machine. Time. Oh. Yeah, that's why. I want to ride. Yeah, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> so... Two more items mm -hmm. we can see here and let's open it which what is it probably this one this one okay we had to edit out the last one because it, it turns out it was a missing national treasure japanese sword uh -huh. so we didn't want to show it on film yeah okay okay have you ever uh, touched uh, oh, national yeah. treasure yeah yeah many times in japan yeah, yeah. In japan. yeah. Mm -hmm. at the nbthk conventions and also at the museum and um, how often do you? Um, I haven't been there since my oldest boy was born 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this year I might go back. It's been long enough. I might take one of my kids with me too. So probably if, if I figure out yeah, all, you could uh, come. All, all questions with uh, my yeah, scheduling visa, visa yes, travel. Visa, yeah. Yes, we can go there because I also want to go to we could do a video running around Japan together. Yeah, yeah. Go to an onsen, naked in the tub with monkeys messing with us <laughs> in northern Japan, Nagano. Yeah. And is there swords in oh. north, north of Japan? Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there's, there is. There's swords all throughout Japan. Yeah. Wow, this is a rare. Yeah. Wow, it's in great shape, too. So this is uh, yeah. Russian officer's yeah. shashka yeah. Uh, model 1981. Wow. And, uh, 1881. Uh, 1881, <laughs> sure. Uh, and uh, you can't see here any insignia yeah. and uh, Tsar crest because of its early model. And only in 1909 uh, they established model with a crest on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this one in mint condition, oh, it's, condition, yeah, it's, it's uh, untouched, it's unmarked. We can't see here, uh, but anyway, look at the condition. It's probably un unissued, right? Yes, yes. It's never been worn, and it's in with original leather, wow. but uh, there is almost no scratches, some of them. And this yeah, really it's 120 good. years old, maybe. Yeah, yeah probably. 18, it, it, 120 they, years, they produced 21. It, they produced it um, up to 1909. 
uh, but anyway this one in this shape it's almost impossible to find because uh, because all Russian uh, wow. um, etched weapon and uh, all Russian imperial stuff almost mm -hmm. all uh, has been destroyed yeah yeah, yeah. After it's unfortunate yep. yeah so this one I saw it's really cool. I saw one of these with a Japanese sword blade in it mm -hmm. not too long ago oh really mm-hmm Interesting. Very interesting. It probably it was uh, after Russo-Japanese War. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Because it was also a bunch of uh, war souvenirs that period. And last one. Last one. So it is. It's called a sashka because yes. of the blade style, right? Um, because of uh, ring style. Because. Uh, oh, I, okay. I, will, I see the rings. Yes. Yeah, the hanger. I will show you difference. And it's really simple because technically it's sword. Mm -hmm. Technically it's sword, like saber. Mm -hmm. But um, in yeah, I see what you mean. The scabbard with the, the hanger suspension upside down. Yeah, when you see it like uh, in that side of circle, mm -hmm. it's a shashka. Yeah. Other side. If you, see it, a... if you see it like here, mm -hmm. it's a shashka. If you see it like here, mm -hmm. on this side, yeah. it's a sword. It's a um, saber. Yeah. So it's difference uh, just in terms, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, semantics. Yes, yes. Well, not really semantics, but yeah. But anyway, terminology. Yeah. Other Imperial Russian sword. Yeah. Oh, also in really great condition. Yeah, and the, this one is also the same model. It's also Shashka, wow. and um, we can see. It. It's really cool. Oh, maker mark. Okay, there's a yeah. maker mark. Yeah, it's like Chelpanov. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, distributor mark. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we can see it's like Saint Petersburg maker mark. Oh, your hometown. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Really nice. It was a um, blade. Etching. Oh, made in Solingen. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Solingen um, stamps uh, because of uh, Solingen produced a bunch of Russian yeah. imperial stuff, bunch of Russian imperial shashkas. And we can see variety of Russian imperial swords because of um, every officer have uh, some amount of money mm -hmm. to buy the simple shashka. But if he want, he, he could spend his own money spend, and upgrade. Yes, like mm -hmm. in Germany. So uh, he can order uh, Zollingen um, blade, he can order um, Zlataust. Mm -hmm. Russian made in Russia blade or stuff like that. So that's very interesting. Sometimes officers used um, like a grandfather's. Um, yeah, an heirloom blade. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. blade, it's like in Jap Japan or mm -hmm. like in uh, Germany also. So this one is very interesting because of the uh, triple engraved. Yes, yes, exactly. And with the stamps. With so the now stamps. the the Russian stamp on the other side is that is that the same as it is in in german um or is that a distributor no because of this one is a distributor mark maker mark um who made this mm -hmm. uh, blade and this one is a russian distributor who bought it okay for and then mounted resell it. it in russia and so, he mounted it right yes yes and uh, we can see here um chilpanov and chilpanov here yeah, also okay. it's like a matching matching set mm -hmm. Yeah, the condition is fantastic with this yeah, also. Yeah, really good. We can see small repairs yeah. here. We can see the screw. It's not from here. It's somebody uh, did it just but again, keep it together. But again, it's 120 years old. Yeah, yeah. And it's, worn and used. It's more, yes, it's more simple uh, condition uh, compared with this one. Because this one in mint, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you can't find it. But this one is also, I'd like to, to find it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you will find any Russian I will. stuff, I'll yeah, call you. Just call me. And if you will find something like that, call, call, call me. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, uh, I'm ready to pay a lot for it because I know how valuable is it. And sometimes it's uh, much more cheaper give one extra grant yeah. uh, for a uh, good item. Yeah, because you won't see it for another five, ten years. Yes, maybe. sure. And it's mm -hmm. much cheaper to buy it here a little bit more expensive than uh, go around and... Yeah, your travel uh, expenses travel. would yes, be... Yes, 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 sure. Because probably uh, 100 yeah. for a hotel, 
Yeah, it's minimum 100, 150, mm -hmm. and 100 for uh, car expenses mm -hmm. and with all all stuff meals. So, yeah, so it's much easier to ask probably dealers or collectors. Could you show it? I me? agree. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Precisely. For sure. And. Um, also interesting items and uh, if you want to see something uh, closer you can tell me and you can write comment under the video and above the video and I will make this video with items you uh, mention in comments so uh, if you want I can explain difference between Russian Imperial stuff if you want I can uh, film more videos about uh, German stuff or uh, European stuff and some guys asked me about uh, awards pages and stuff like that mm -hmm. I will uh, also show it and here for example I have uh, some items uh, to show mm -hmm. for show uh, this one is SMF original one um, really nice condition also yes with uh, in a display yeah I also yeah so an early place. cap eagle and uh, yes cap eagle and, and a nice uh, early paratrooper, paratrooper badge yeah. yeah I will show it to you closer and uh, here also I have variety of badges I found mm -hmm. um, since January mm -hmm. since January and some of them in really in mint condition and uh, uh, this one stamped and yeah wow that's really cool or like this. yeah common metal but like you don't find them like that yeah. you just don't yeah. so if you're interested in closer view just let me know and I will do it and uh, closer I can show it to you in my Instagram account instagram.com slash Alex War Story. So it's easy to find me there. So I hope you enjoy this um, unpacking. I hope you enjoy this unpacking. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. And um, probably if you have some more items, probably you found, mm -hmm. just send me. Yeah, I, we'll I send it for unboxing. Yeah. Or you can come to Minnesota. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, probably during the summer yeah. we can do that. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video until the end. Press uh, likes and subscribes button. Likes and subscribes. Yep. Like and subscribe button uh, above the video. And uh, don't forget uh, to press bell button and uh, click on the all notification for uh, get all notification about yeah. my videos. Because uh, I started... Um, to publish live streams yeah 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 so also interesting good. yes and the interesting experience and some are pretty funny yeah <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> okay thank you guys again thank you bill for being my guest now we're all set have a good one see you real soon